the simultaneity of production, craft skills, alongside with critical, rigorous thinking about what is being made. And so we often talk about the idea that we teach through making, we think through our hands. It's research-based and it's concept-driven, but it's deeply invested in the hand-making processes that are fiber and material studies. So material studies encompasses new ways of making within the field. The basis of my work is focused on this idea of me being first generation and me exploring this idea of the American dream of referencing my family's labor here in the U.S. And I would say that the department helped me to push that by thinking about my material critically in a, you know, in a contemporary way. A lot of our students move in and out of different technologies. Like right now, Yvonne does a lot of online platforms where she games and communicates to people and she's asking people to create punch cards for knitting machines. Part of my current practice is researching the neon culture of Hong Kong. And before I came to SAIC, I knew nothing about the making of neon. You can express the narrations through the material language. So whatever culture that you are coming from, the diversity of your culture, you can bring it into your practice. And it's encouraged. We have faculty who are more rooted in the traditions of the field that might be weaving, uh, or other faculty who are in performance or come out of painting. I produce sculpture, public art, and right now I'm teaching a class called Hot Projects, which is a highly experimental class for students, and it's a sculptural approach to a material that the students may know nothing about. The facilities are pretty world-class. We have a lot of high-level tools, like uh, a sewing lab filled with embroidery machines and uh, quilting machines. The dye lab is an open dye lab that allows for different types of dye processes to happen. We have uh, burners, um, sinks, work sinks. And then we have a very large weaving studio that I, I can't even count how many looms. Over 60 looms are in there and three TC2 looms. We have our print facility that allows you to make massive yardage and like burn screens that are, you know, the size of this table. <laughs> and the paper making studio as well, which has a wet floor and allows us to do lots of wet material processes. So the Textile Resource Center is this incredible resource for students to be able to come in and actually be able to touch these pieces where otherwise you can only look at it behind glass at a museum. We're not just thinking about materials, we're thinking about materiality, and we're not just thinking about the material benefits, the pros and cons of things, but rather how are they functioning politically, socially, what are their histories of them, what are the ramifications of using certain materials in your work because it matters. And I think that having discourse and having readings and artist lectures and things like that, it really challenges students and it allows students to question these things that I think will impact their work for the rest of the time that they're making.